Pranam Acharya ji, uh, I am Shreyas, so I am a second year B.Tech student pursuing civil engineering. So my question is, till now I haven't found a friend so, uh, who is supportive or who shares the same goals as mine. So like the companies, if we see, the companies with the humble beginnings, uh, they often attribute their success to strong friendship at their core. So like how do I find or make such friends so that I can achieve big in future? And uh, how long is this journey? And how difficult is it to finding such friends? And if I don't get such a friend, so who, who can I be close with? So can I still be uh, achieving big or something like that? So, thank you. You, 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 for, for you to find the right friend, you have to be at the right place. Hmm? At the right place. It's only at the right place where you can find the right person. Hmm? And for you to be at the right place, you need to know what is right for you. When you know what is right for you, then you start going in that direction with all your energy and dedication. And when you move towards that, you find people who, who, who are like you or better than you, moving in the same direction and probably going to prove helpful. The first thing is your own commitment towards yourself. For example, let's say you, you want to be a badminton player. You want to be a badminton player. So what do you do? And you do not know where to you know, find a, a right partner to just uh, knock with. You start doing whatever you can. You start maybe bouncing the shuttle off the wall of your room. I used to do that. No coat was available, no partner available, so I would just take a wall and just keep banging at it. Not the right thing to do, but anyway. And then when you when you do that, you 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 get fed up of yourself. You say, "How long can I do this? I need a proper coat." And then you start looking around for a proper coat. Hmm? And when you find that coat, you find there are others on that coat. And those others are the one who would prove good to you and are uh, fit to be called friends. So you cannot just say, I'm going out looking for friends. That's not the first thing to happen to you. The first thing is, you do whatever best is possible in your individual capacity. Soon you will discover that you are getting saturated. And then you will be forced out to look out. Then you will be forced to look out to better places. And when you reach those places, you will find persons as well. Hmm? Remaining where you are and remaining as you are, you will only find friends who are just the way you are. If you want to find people who, who really deserve to be uh, called friends, then you need to aspire and endeavor. You need to look at yourself, see where you lack, see how you can shed your weaknesses. Hmm? And then, then in that process, almost accidentally, you come across people who will prove to be good friends. Having good friends is a luxury. Not everyone can have it. Hmm? Like all luxuries in the world, this one can be had only by those who pay the price for it. Luxurious goods are expensive, are they not? So good friends are one of the greatest luxuries possible in life. You have to pay a great price, but we don't pay any price. So all we get is accidental friends, no? 
you check into your hostel and your roommate he becomes your friend now that kind of friendship is hardly any good the probability of that being a fruitful friendship or a or an elevating relationship is 1 in 100 you have to be tremendously lucky to find a great friend just by chance that cannot happen that way but be it anything we leave it to chance hmm? friend by chance girlfriend that too by chance spouse that too by chance placement by chance branch by chance everything is by chance and if everything is by chance then what is the difference between us and any inanimate thing floating about in the winds everything happens to that thing by chance no think of a, of of a, of a little fallen leaf the winds are taking it that way this way it falls on the ground somebody steps on it the things are happening to it all by chance human beings operate via consciousness not via chance friends cannot be accidental i just met someone during my journey to chennai and you know we are great friends now hmm. well that's that's random brownian kind of engagement molecules just rushing about randomly and colliding with each other for no particular reason at all and just as they collide they also rush away from each other only to collide with somebody else hmm? no get into yourself do do the best you want to be done to you in your own little way obviously you'll make a lot of mistakes make those mistakes make honest mistakes make dedicated mistakes and in that process of inner effort and honesty you will come across people who will be better than accidental finds remember you just cannot randomly get a nice person anywhere it may happen but the probability is slim hmm? where are you more likely to find a great cricketer in a shopping mall or in a stadium in a shopping mall you might find a great cricketer but the the probability is not zero but tends to zero if you want to befriend a great cricketer first of all you must develop some cricketing skills of your own so that you are allowed entry into the stadium and then when you enter the stadium you will find people you can befriend am i making sense does not seem so <laughs> Yes, sir. Sorry, you are making. You see, you you are able to talk to me because you are sitting in an IIT campus. That's a practical example. Huh? You are able to speak to me only because you are sitting in an IIT campus. Yes, sir. Hmm? You get what I am pointing at? you first have to reach that place before you can connect to this person